for a few weeks now this will be going on my third week oh my fourth week actually of being living here um and i'm gonna do a separate video probably film it today like kind of like not an apartment tour because my apartment is not so ready because like i'm doing laundry and stuff like that but um i will like give my thoughts on like how i feel about student living so far and all of that jazz um, but today is a, it's like a two video in one because I've already filmed this video once and the footage, like the part of me doing my eyes and all of that is gone, is missing. And I'm sad about that. I'm upset about it because, you know, and now I have to film it. And I didn't realize that until I went to go edit. Did I grab my birth phone? I don't think I did. But this is the full face of Maybelline, or AKA full face of Fit Me. Well, it's all the products ain't fit me because like the lips does not fit me, the eyes does not fit me, you know. Um, the lashes are not gonna fit me. So there are three items that will not be, uh, not fit me, but Maybelline products. There are three that will not be Maybelline products. That is the lashes, the brows, and eyeliner. Because when I bought all of these things, and I have not been to like the drugstore or makeup shopping since I bought all of this stuff, um, there I had was given a Maybelline felt tip eyeliner, but I don't know where it's at. I cannot find it, so the eyeliner is not going to be Maybelline, or I might just not do an eyeliner. I might not do one, but I do have it sitting here just in case. But also wrapped into this video will be a how to sculpt contour bronze a you it wasn't gonna be a round, a round face but then i was told that i don't have a round face and that i have a heart shaped face so it is going to be how to bronze contour sculpt all those beautiful words a full face because i still have a full face i don't have a round face no but i still have chubby cheeks you know I'm a plus size girl, so like I have a fuller face than someone who is skinny and has a heart shaped face. So um, I'll be showing you guys how to do that. Um, if you want a how to sculpt a round face, specifically a round face, um, I have a couple of friends that have rounder faces and I could do a video where I'm doing their makeup and showing you how to do that. So you can like, comment, subscribe, all of that. And without further ado, let's get gorgeous, babes. I originally filmed this video. I had did, it was the same day that I filmed my, um, how I do my eyebrows video, which is going live. The day that I'm filming this is going live tonight. Like I'm, after I finished filming this video, I'm going to uh, edit the thumbnail for that video and upload it so it'll be uploaded probably today or i might hold off and upload it on sunday uh it just really depends because like i want to have a schedule a working schedule so y'all know what to expect uploads and stuff like that so i hope i'm not too far away and i hope i'm not too close to where you can't see what i'm doing but i also don't want to block with this mirror I'm gonna turn this way because the light is this way. And I'm also, I'm not using my ring light right now. Um, because the tripod that I use for my ring light, it's not broken, but it is slightly messed up. <laughs> so until I can kind of like fix what's going on with it, probably won't be using my ring light like that unless I'm doing it like for my personal makeup, like where I'm not filming. Or of course to take pictures, you know. 
but I didn't feel like fooling with it and it's daytime like so if I'm filming in daytime I probably will be will strive to use natural lighting just because natural lighting looks better like um if you follow me on instagram you'll notice i don't edit any of my instagram pictures um there's nothing wrong with if you do edit your instagram pictures i just don't i like that natural look um and it's not like i have like crazy blemishes now if the lighting is off then yeah please edit the picture <laughs> but i rarely take pictures and i never really take like full body pictures i always do like um like selfies i never take full body pictures and i'm gonna do a video on why i never take full body pictures um i have a few con different content that i want to put up that's not makeup related and more lifestyle related because on this channel i would like to have lifestyle beauty and fashion um i've already uploaded like some things that i you know, consider fashion but i want to do more hauls um i recently got a job but like it doesn't pay a whole lot so i can't really do much with that money um outside of like what i have to do with that money so i'm working on getting the second job so that i can have a little bit more money to play around with so that I can do like hauls and stuff like that and really give y'all content that I would want to watch. Um, versus waiting until Christmas time when I'm giving like money and stuff like that. I want to be able to do it year like seasonally or you know just like sporadic like oh I felt like I needed some more like basic items or some more extra whatever. Like um, I want to get I want to do more of that so yeah um so to conceal my brows um what i just used was the benefit goof proof brow pencil in the number four um this is the maybelline new york fit me concealer um where i picked up all this stuff at this was the darkest concealer that they had and this is in the color deep this is uh 35 deep this is the yeah 35 is the number so it if you ask me to me I don't, I don't something is slightly off about it the color is not completely horrible but it is slightly lighter than what I like to use <laughs> both for the my regular face and for my brows I really definitely don't like to use too light of a concealer on my brows not my under eye I will use a lighter one sometimes or I'll go in with a second one that's a bit lighter but um oh did I grab that brush I didn't I have to I'm just gonna use the one that I have this one and I'm taking, I normally take just a small flat, it's about the same size as this, but it's a completely flat top. This one is an angled flat top brush or whatever. Um, because I accidentally grabbed the wrong brush. So once that's blended out and I blended out like my base or whatever, I'm not going to set my base because I never really set my base whether I'm using drugstore products or I'm using uh, higher end products. Yeah, I, that and for each product, because I can't think of right off the top of my head, I will have the prices pop up like, like right at the bottom. 
Um, this is the the Maybelline the City Mini Palette. Um, they had a different one. They had this one, which is the High Rise Sunset, and they had a different one. They had a different color scheme in it. I bought this one because it had it has a matte yellow in it, and I love yellow. <laughs> I love it also. Anything that happened, this was before, no, it was after. I don't know why I got, oh, because of the type of yellow it is. I like this type of yellow that's in here. Um, but we're not going to go in, yeah, we are. We are. On my Morphe M518 brush, I am going to go into this here yellow. That yellow color, we're going to go into that tap off a little bit of the excess and just like I, I, I stamp when I do um, my eyeshadow I stamp the product on and then blend it out afterwards that's how I get the best color payoff where no matter the brand that's how I get the best color payoff for me personally Oh, one more item will not be, um, will not be Maybelline. It's, it will be the, um, what I choose to primer. Y'all know I really don't use primer. Whatever it is that I moisturize with, that's what I use as primer. I don't really prime when I do, um, my makeup. really hope that the lighting is not too bright to where I'm looking not washed out but like to where y'all can't see <laughs> I would really hate that and like also like I'm getting another job because I want to get a better camera like I like the camera that I have but like I can't really switch out the lenses and it's not it's pretty much impossible for me to see what the hell I'm going what I'm doing so I'm just kind of like Blush out the edges a little bit. Okay, and then and this is a equal. No, it's not. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what brand this brush is. I thought it was the Eco Tools brush because a lot of those brushes, those are like kind of like the first brushes I've ever used. I don't know what kind of brush this is. So yeah. Um. Um. We're going to go into that brown that's right next to that yellow. We're going to go into that brown. And we're going to put that underneath the yellow. To kind of like give the eye a little bit more def definition. We tapped that off because that was a lot. And, um, and then I just like flick. Size, so yellow is still popping but I do think this could be still like a I do think that this could fall into that fall category category because um, because of the type of yellow this is that and the type of brown this is I think do I want to do shimmer on my lid? I, I don't think I am. I think I'm going to leave it be. Well, not leave it be. Not like. I think I'm gonna like do like a skin sort of shade. Um, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that concealer we used by Maybelline and wipe off a lot of the product because we really don't want a lot of product for what I'm about to do. I just want to kind of like. I 
okay, so. <laughs> okay, so now that I've cleaned out that part of the eye, I'm gonna take that, not the white shade, but this like really light, light shade right here. And we're gonna put that on the lid where we put all that concealer in, so. And I'm taking the Morphe M124 brush. Same brush that you used to put that crease color in, that brown color. You're gonna go in between where the light is and just kind of like blend out that edge so it seam seamlessly. You, if you don't have enough left on that brush, you can go and dip back into that color. it for the eyes so now I'm gonna prime my face using this tea tree this tea tree and this is what, avocado oil with essentials for um, eczema which is tea tree oil in here um, and th well that's one of the notice it might be some other essentials in here but for the most part what you smell right off of that is tea tree and no, I don't have ex eczema, but I have really dry skin. So, especially like right up in here, if y'all been watching me, y'all know my skin gets dry. And I have this like hideous burn on my cheek. Cause I want it to be cute and put some fucking curls in my hair. Okay. As long as you're hydrated, that really is all that matters. So now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 338. Sometimes I mix this with my other Maybelline foundation, the 24 hour wear one that I, well, I don't know what shade I got that in. I think I got that in the shade Coconut. But I left that in my room and I don't feel like going to get it, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to finesse this one. top brush she was gonna blend it out It's like you'll be able to tell like if I don't blend completely into my hair, even though I'm gonna put one. Um... See, that looks that looks that looks decent. That looks nice. She looks beautiful. Um... 
So we're gonna go back in with that seam, concealer, and get underneath these eyes, sis. Yes. You see me. If not, you know, we're gonna get better. We're gonna get better because I can't see what I'm doing. So, and I don't have like an assistant or anything like that. You know, I ain't nobody. I don't have nobody here with me. I don't have a roommate or nothing. So. Concealer stash. we're gonna go in with a smaller brush Um, so now what I'm going to go in with is this uh, Maybelline Fit Me. Uh, this is their matte, por matte plus poreless. Uh, this is their like uh, press powder, the Fit Me press powder. Um, I'm using it as a contour, a bronzer. This is where that sculpting comes in at. Well, I meant to say that actually when I was doing my concealer we have a fuller face you don't want to take out your concealer too far out if you notice i kind of like kept mine's like right up in here and even now when i blend it out i did go a little further out just to like make sure like it was flawlessly blend out on the edges and stuff like that but any even if, if, if i feel like it's too like if i feel like it's too concentrate concentrated back here which is not for the most part all the lightness is like right within here um, but if I did feel like it was taken too far out, where you'll correct that at is when you take your, your bronzer, whatever it is that you're using. In this case, we're using Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the color Mocha, which is three, 360. I'm just taking that up in here. And I bring mine all the way in to like right here. When you contour your face, you don't want it to be directly up onto here. You want to bring it down here and then feather it upwards. So, so like, like when you go like this in circular motions, if flings it upwards, but the concentration is still under here. So. It's, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's about how you blend it out. <laughs> oh, Lord, I promise I'm not the best teacher. And I'm just, Lord, I promise I'm not the best teacher. Like, I'm so sorry. Um, but we're going to get better. We're going to stick in this together. Per. Um, oh my gosh, this keeps falling. And I'm trying to show you on this side. And so kind of like do the same thing. You go and see your hairline. And I'm showing you how to do a full face. Not a heart shaped face. Um, yeah. I, I don't do that. So. 
So now go here. Now bring it down. And to sharpen the jawline, you just run it across. Like if you just notice how like I do like circular motions because like I said, you want it to stay down here, but when you blend it, you want it to feather it upwards. That way it curls over the cheekbone. Now with bronzer, you want to play now you don't want to place it on the cheekbone, but you want to place it above your contour and feather it down. Don't know how to explain that. I don't have any actual bronzer bronzer here with me. A lot of times I use bronzer to contour with because I like that, um, the finish that bronzer gives. with the sun so like I'm trying not to take too long okay hopefully you can see what I see because <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is not as dark as it used to be on me when I first bought this so really hope you can see it and so now I'm going to take a uh, this brush that I just used to contour with, I bought off eBay, so probably not a real a cosmetics brush, but that's what it says it is. It says it's a Heavenly Lux wand ball powder. I, I'm guessing that's the type of brush that it is. I don't know if you own a real It Tech It Cosmetics brush. I do own a real It Cosmetics brush, but it's a foundation brush, and I'm low-key sad that I used it because it was white, and now it's forever stained, so... Um, yeah, which is crazy because I could get that blending brush. I could get that perfectly clean to where it's fucking stark, stark white again. But for whatever reason, I can't get that foundation brush back like that. So now we're gonna start when you start your contour. You know, as you want to give it some origin, so you want to come up here into this eyebrow cake like nook situation, and you want to come down. For the longest, I used to put my contour directly on the sides of my nose. If you're trying to, if you're not trying to like shave inches off of your nose, if you're not trying to make your nose look narrower, then that's fine. It really won't, you know, it's fine. It'll just put your nose back on your face. Cause like when you put all the foundation and the contour, not the contour and the concealer and stuff like that on, you, your face, your nose might get a little lost in the sauce. Like you, you may not have no real definition because it's like all these like one tones on top of it. Your natural contours aren't there anymore. So to just if you just want to put those back, then you can go literally right on the side, like where the natural side of the nose is. But if you want to take like make it look narrower, you need to go onto your actual nose and make it actually smaller. Um, I usually just kind of like make it a teensy bit smaller. I don't really have a wide nose, but <laughs> I do uh, go on top of that bone versus going directly on the side of it because I notice when I go directly on the side of it or even like going around on top of it, it's not a great build, great big difference, at least not to me, but photograph wise, it does look better when I place it directly on top. A little bit of contour there right there. Even though I do usually go across my nose like that to give that like button effect because I don't have a button nose. I wish I had one. Okay, and there our nose is back on the face. It's not all one color anymore. Reason why I went and got this tart real quick, it was actually sitting behind me. 
Um, the reason why I have this is because I have on a white tank top and I don't want to mess up my white tank top with this powder that I'm going to put on. So, yeah. Y'all have heard me talk about this powder so many times. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is the, the loose finishing powder. Love it, love it, love it. It is literally my favorite. Literally my favorite. And we're just gonna set that up like it has like so much bake. I personally don't like to bake bake. But how I set my face. So now we're gonna do blush. You know, I'm not a blushy girl, y'all. Y'all know that. This is the blush and the color. Um, there is no Maybelline highlighter, <laughs> as far as I've seen. Um, when I was looking for highlighter, I didn't see any. Um, the only highlighter I saw was this, which is the shadow and, and highlight palette. So technically this is the highlight palette that they do have that I saw. This was Total Temptation, shadow and, and plus highlight. Um, yeah. So the highlighter that I'm probably gonna use is that golden one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm sad the sun's gone now. I'm gonna color my... <laughs> We love the cute little in the corner of it. We love the in the highlight. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, honey. I'm not really crazy about brow bone highlight, but sometimes I feel like it finishes the look off. Okay, so I'm going to spray my face. I like to, oh, my saying spray is not for Maybelline either. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I said that, but. Yeah, my lighting's not the best now, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna put lips on last. 
eyes because I'm finna do my lashes now. But I did want to take off that little excess or whatever. So for for mascara, we are going to be doing the Maybelline Colossal Voluminous Lashes. It has a little cheek print on the top or whatever. It's in the yellow bottle. Love this mascara. This is probably my favorite mascara by them. My favorite mascara used to be the one that they had that was in the pink and green bottle. The bottle was pink and the top was green. But my favorite, like, you know, those come with different wands and shit. I'm sorry, and stuff. I'm trying to stop cussing because I want my, my, little, my little cousins wants to watch my videos, but their mom's like, I heard you cuss, so I don't let them watch it. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna try and stop cussing. Cause I want my little cousins to learn how to do makeup from me. You know what I'm saying? Not from some other YouTuber. Even though I mean it's fine, but like it's just like they should be able to watch me too, you know. And because I don't have any little sisters or anything, like I don't have any little siblings. I don't have anybody to like teach like, oh this is how you do your makeup. Like all of you are my little sisters, you know? so much mascara on when I'm not even gonna you ain't gonna be able to see it so I'm just putting this on the bottle So this is the Maybelline um, Superstay Matte Ink. So we're gonna do a red lip today. Um, I hope it goes. It should though, cause my eyes are pretty neutral. Oh, well, this is so bright. This is in the color. Dancer. Oh, I love this red. Oh my God. This is really popping, and I had one of my little cousins, uh, the one, one of them that's grown. She's in T. She just went off to school. Um, I'm really proud of her. I'm really proud of her. She's going to HBCU. I think. I think. I think it's HBCU. She had asked me if I knew any videos. Um, she asked me if I had any videos already uploaded where I had did a simple eye look and stuff like that with a red lip. And I was like, no, but I can put one out for you. So this is kind of like my Kindle video. Kindle, shout out to you. I love you. Thanks for requesting this like red lip simple eye situation. And just so I happen to fit in with my little Maybelline stuff. So um, this is for you, Kendall. I love you. Hope you're doing good in school. All of that. Call me. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is the look. You know, I'll do a proper like video, like outro situation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, 
and subscribe. Share this with a friend. Put this on Facebook. All of that. All of that. Share me with the world. Any topics that you ever want me to talk about. Because like I said, I want to do videos outside of just makeup and fashion. Like, or hair. Like, I just, you know, anything that y'all want to, like, sit down talking videos. Um... Let me know. I'll be gladly to. Do, I will gladly do them because it's a few things that I do want to talk about and that I am going to talk about in the future. Um, because I feel like there are people talking about them, but I don't, I don't think y'all getting it. So <laughs> I don't think I don't think y'all getting it. So I will be doing some more videos and stuff like that. Um, any topics you want me to discuss? Any certain type of makeup looks you want just want me to discuss? Comment that below. If there are any um, makeup products. And she, I, I think that I'm going to try and get the Jackie, the new Jackie Aina palette. I really want that. So, please come back. This is a channel that likes to exude positivity. So, I just, I want to push out positivity so I can get it back. So, you know, you know. Oh, click that bell. Click that bell so you can get notified every single time that I post. So there's no excuse as to why you're not watching, okay? Okay, okay. So, um, but, um, but yeah, so, uh, thanks for getting gorgeous with me, babes, and I'll see you guys next time.